Hello guys, Crispy here and welcome back to another video. Today my friends, I'm gonna be testing the HD 2600 XT. Look at it, it's actually quite beautiful, isn't it? The design of it and stuff. This is a 2007 GPU, by the way, and many of you might actually be familiar with it. Uh, right guys? Right? <laughs> so it's obviously a very cheap GPU whenever you can find it available. Um, I actually got it for free, funny story actually. I bought uh, these two controllers right here so I could play with Digimon a few games here on the PC. And the guy just included the 2600 XT. So basically, I guess it was free. I don't know guys, was this a better deal than Random Gaming in HD's deal? Probably not, I honestly never used these, so, um, yeah. <laughs> Anyways, my friends, let's just install this in the system, get it up and running here, and see what it can do in 2020, shall we? Alright guys, we're here in the desktop, ready to go, and as you can see right there, an MSI Afterburner ATI Radeon HD 2600 XT, and the driver version is... I actually don't know why it doesn't show up in MSI Afterburner, but anyways, friends, we're running these drivers right here, Catalyst 13.1 from 2013. Talk about old GPUs, the latest drivers available for this card are 7 years old. <laughs> and friends, as usual I'm running it with a Ryzen 7 3700X and 16 gigs of RAM and of course these are overkill, but that's not the point of the video, we just want to test the beautiful HD 2600 XT. And let's just play some games on it, friends. We're starting off of course with GTA 5, I don't know if you know it, but it's a very very popular game. <laughs> So we're playing at 800 by 600 resolution, all of the settings are just disabled or in the minimum settings. And also guys, the shadow quality, I disabled it in the config files because uh, otherwise it wasn't really gonna be playable, okay? <laughs> so yeah. Well, we actually managed to get 30 something FPS, the game looks horrible, okay? But it has no shadows and stuff, so it looks kind of bland as well, but let's just Go ahead and start counting our FPS and look at that beauty guys, oh boy it's stuttering and stuff, it's so bad. By the way this GPU has 256 megabytes of VRAM and you might have noticed that uh, GTA 5 actually thinks it has 2.8 gigabytes or something like that. The same happens with for example my, oh boy, Intel HD graphics, whenever I play with Intel HD graphics it says like the, the, the GPU has 4 gigs of VRAM for some reason, I don't know why, but yeah, this one certainly has, Jesus Christ, uh, 256 megabytes of VRAM, you can see it in MSI Afterburner of course, and uh, I think that is actually causing it to just stutter all over the place guys, it's really bad. I think everything has smoothed out a little bit right now, so we should be fine, let's go, let's go through our benchmark run oh god okay oh boy I didn't run over anybody else there all right everything is fine and I think uh, we didn't really see any more stutters so uh, everything is uh, actually pretty good right gosh what the hell oh my god okay uh, this is not how I wanted this to go we're approaching the most intensive area by the way which is this one which with all of the vegetation and of course it does drop kind of from 30 fps sometimes but it's not too bad guys you know aside from those stutters what is going on please holy crap yeah aside from those stutters at the beginning which have already kind of smoothed out uh, this is not as bad of an experience as I thought, you know, this is okay. As you can see right now, I'm running very very fast through the city and it's not really stuttering that much and the FPS are um, okay. This is kind of like what? PS3 level? It's a little bit worse than the PS3 probably. And let's just go to the next game. Alrighty my friends, we are now in Valorant, let's see how it performs here, I actually know how it performs because I tested this game separately on the 2600 XT already, but we're playing at 1280x720 or 720p resolution with the lowest settings possible right here, let's go. 
By the way, guys, this was a $200 GPU back in the days, in 2007, of course. And uh, it was mid-range, obviously, and the name 2600 XT, the 6 meant mid-range, I think. Okay, uh, what the heck, what the heck? I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to do something here, guys, because this is obviously a lot worse than the 9800 GT. I was able to play pretty well with the 9800 GT, but uh, I'm not, not confident in this one. You know? what guys you gotta see the positive side here um at least the gt710 can do better than this we finally found an old gpu that runs worse than the gt710 and that is not the gt210 uh, of course uh, come on okay i'm just refiring everything in hope that they will just walk through it should okay 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 he's there he's there i'm going a i am going a sometimes we have to play safe friends all right that's a very crispy advice oh i thought i have the the bomb actually <laughs> oh boy okay he doesn't even need to use his ultimate to be honest oh he's there oh i got him headshot good stuff friends finally got one kill oh my god 40 something fps okay i'm fine i'm fine i'm fine everything is okay no you died buddy why did you stay there so actually guys when i last tested this game it was back in the beta and it still seems to be running the same. I think I missed this. Oh, come on, dude. Oh, I didn't miss that. Beautiful. Okay, everything's all right. Good job, buddies. Good job. Nice. You, you got this, right? I can leave now to test another game because, yeah. Don't you die. Don't you die on me. You're not allowed to die. Thank you very much. I was talking to my teammate, by the way. Okay, so it seems like the 2600 XT sort of has what it takes to run this game perfectly fine. If you go into the config files and change it to like 540p, you should be able to get to, Jesus Christ, above 60 FPS pretty much at all times. So this is a acceptable performance, I would say, here for Valorant. All right, my friends, here we go. Battlefield Bad Company 2, one of the best Battlefield games of all times, in my opinion, at least. I had a ton of fun playing this one back in 2010. And here we are playing at 1280 by 720 resolution, low settings across the board, of course. Let's just play a match here of multiplayer. Let's start counting our FPS. Hopefully it will run well here. Is that a... Yes, that's a bad... What is going on? What is going... Why am I clipping through... What? What is happening? I am so confused right now. But anyways, it seems like we're getting close to 60 FPS here on average, which is pretty good, actually. Remember that this card was three years old when this game came out, and it was actually very intensive, I think, back in the days. Of course, it does drop from... 30 FPS even with the 1% lows at 22 whenever we are uh, near smoke effects and stuff like that Those are really intensive. Come on. No, 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 no. Okay. Everything's all right Oh, I forgot. I, I am not a medic, but I think you could actually play the single player with this GPU Absolutely fine. I actually played the single player in a G103M laptop That's the GPU by the way Nvidia G103M And I had to play at 640 by 480 using a mods actually because the game doesn't support that low of a resolution and I played at like 25 FPS and I played the entire game like that it's like yeah amazing but <laughs> it wasn't amazing <laughs> At least in this map, this is a lot less intensive than the other one. Of course, there aren't as many smoke effects going on because of the snow and the cold, I think. So that's something there. Oh, come on. How did that miss? Am I with ping or something? Uh-oh. Uh oh, oh so many there. Okay, I'm gonna throw a nade. There's a guy right there, like right here. He's th he threw a nade actually. Um, come on, can I do something here? Come on, buddy, you can. Re oh, defuse that, buddy. Come on, come on, defuse. No, we we're lost, guys. We just lost this right now. God damn it! God damn it! I'm trying here. We got this. We got this. Alright guys, so I say that Bad Company 2 is actually playable with the 2007 GPU. God damn it, dude! Okay. Oh my god. Oh my god. I've seen way- I've seen way worse. Ah, uh, okay. Okay. We got two right there. Oh, uh, and I died with a sniper. Okay. 67 FPS average and 18... 1%. Yeah.
All right, my friends, we're now playing CSGO at 800 by 600 resolution with the very low settings, everything. I even disabled boost player contrast right here. I have the, uh, where is it, texture streaming enabled because we only have 256 megabytes of VRAM. I'm going to start counting our FPS. Let's go. Uh, I am also using the no Uber shader launch option so we can get a few extra frames by disabling the reflections, supposedly, but it still has reflections as you can see in the weapon right there so I'm not sure what's going on with this game right now but it used to play a lot better here in older hardware and look at those frame time spikes in the graph right there those were also present with the GT uh, actually the 9800 GT I always say GT first so I guess these older GPUs are just not suitable for CSGO anymore which is very very unfortunate and of course I'm playing a deathmatch right now but I'm also gonna get into a casual game just to throw a smoke so we can see how many FPS we get at the edge of the smoke, which is very, very intensive, obviously. God damn it. This is not a very good experience. It's not a smooth experience. And last time that I tried this GPU, which was maybe like a year ago or something, it was actually playable. So I'm not sure what's going on with CSGO. With all of the updates and stuff, they just broke the game completely for older end hardware. And that just sucks a lot, you know? All right, got him finally. Alright, so our deathmatch is done. We got 82 FPS on average and 41 1% lows. I actually managed to stay positive if that's a 6. I don't know if that's a 6 or an 8. Alright, my friends, we got a smoke right here. Let's see our FPS uh, at the edge of it. Oh boy. Okay, so it's not really dropping that much, but those spikes, those little stutters are really, really bad right now. And we, it seems like we got like, what, 40-something FPS at the edge of it. It's not that bad, to be honest. All right, everybody, we're now in Dota 2. And uh, as you can see right here, we're playing at 1080p. I'm not playing anything. I'm just spectating a game, by the way. Uh, lowest settings across the board, 50% resolution scale. So that means that we are running the game at 540p. And let's start counting our FPS. There's a little bit of a fight going on already, so that's good. And oh my god, oh my god, 22. FPS right there so when things hit up even 540p is not enough to put us above 30 all of the time so that's a little bit underwhelming to be honest okay all right so I'm still expecting a few frame time spikes right there or stutters because we've seen those as well with the 9800 GT and this shares the same engine as CSGO so it should still stutter a little bit like you could play like this obviously but um, I would prefer 60 or at least 30 plus all of the time I don't like the FPS just fluctuating every time you know but at least guys it doesn't stutter as much as CSGO so that's that's a good thing obviously of course CSGO is the game that has been getting the most updates recently uh, when it comes to the graphical changes and stuff like that so there's that yeah guys 22 again oh my god it's whenever that boat comes into play it's just it, it wrecks the frame rate here with this GPU so I was kind of expecting better coming from the 2600 XT, but of course this is a 2007 card and Dota 2 has been optimized, well updated at least, <laughs> uh, throughout the years to run on newer hardware, so... Yeah, just not really that good for this game anymore. It's very unfortunate because like two years ago it might have been fine, but now it's just not, it's not gonna cut it anymore. It's time for an upgrade if you're running one of these. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, we are now playing some Far Cry 3. Very beautiful game, but not at 800 by 600. It, it won't really be that beautiful anymore, unfortunately. Anyways, that's the resolution. We're playing, of course, in DirectX 9 because, well, yeah. And over here in the settings, we have obviously everything set to the minimum. And uh, let's just try this beautiful game out here. Oh boy, it, it doesn't look... Uh, this is ruining my nostalgia about this game, guys. It just looks way too bad right now I played this back in the days at 720p with about like low to medium settings and now low settings at 800 by 600 everything like the grass used to look really really good in this game and it's just a pixelated mess right now but anyways guys I guess you could play like this if you really really wanted to Okay, can I find some pirates here? Okay, there's one of them right there. And there's like two more right there. Oh boy, there are a lot of them. Okay, okay. They're fighting something. What the hell? 
What are, what are you doing? Oh, there are many, many pirates, actually. I'm not sure if I can take them out with these frames at this resolution. What the hell? Are they fighting pigs? Are they actually fighting pigs? Oh, no, it's a jaguar. Okay, I'm just gonna let the jaguar kill him. Please don't come for me, buddy. Please. Okay, they're, they're fighting the pirates still. Good stuff. Good boy. That's a good boy, guys. Look at him. He's gonna attack. He's gonna protect us. I don't want to kill it, guys. I don't want to kill it. I'm just gonna go away right now. Okay, okay. Buddy, please don't follow me here. You're gonna die if you do so, okay? You know what, guys? At least the frame rate doesn't really drop from 30 that much. So, um, I could say that this is playable. Well, yeah, I'm playing the game. I could shoot some pirates, so it's playable. But is it enjoyable? <sighs> That's the real question, guys. I don't really think that this is too enjoyable for a beautiful game like this. 36 FPS average, 28 1% lows, and that's it for Far Cry 3. Alright, everybody, we're now testing Tomb Raider 2013. Let's go over the settings, shall we, my friends? Graphics over here, okay, we're playing at 1280 by 720 resolution, or 720p, of course, and uh, everything here is turned off, like motion blur, screen effects, and stuff like that, we don't want those. Everything in the advanced settings is, of course, at the lowest settings, because... That's just how you should play with a, a GPU this old, you know, it was six years old this GPU when this game came out, so uh, let's just go ahead and start the benchmark because it's a much easier way for me to show you the FPS and uh, we're getting 30s right here, not too bad guys. If it manages to stay above 30 FPS at all times, although I feel like it won't because this scene is like not the most intensive in the benchmark run, um, I guess it's kind of playable guys I 25 is getting down there in the unplayable zone but I've heard many of you guys that play at like 25 or 20 FPS locked and you're fine with it so I guess I will say I will say that this is playable okay 30 the average should be around 30 FPS I think maybe a little bit higher than that and look at Lara there on the lowest settings it like actually looks pretty bad <laughs> like the textures and stuff like that but of course 256 megabytes of vram guys that's just what you get look at her she's so sad right now oh no don't give me the 2600 xt anyways guys average fps 32.2 not bad max fps 38 and minimum fps 24.5 Alright everybody, we're now playing Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 and I'm gonna show you the settings of course, 720p, lowest settings right here except for the texture quality which is set to normal, actually texture resolution right there, and uh, the image quality which is set to native, otherwise we will not really be playing at 720p resolution. So let's just go ahead and start counting our FPS, what I really loved about these older Call of Duty games is that they are really really well optimized in in like older hardware this game came out in 2011 of course it was in the era where call of duty was pretty much the same thing every year so <laughs> that's basically why it runs so well i think <laughs> but still this gpu was four years old when this uh, game came out and it still runs it pretty well here by the way guys i'm running a mod to increase my fov otherwise it will be at eight or seven fov and i obviously hate that it was basically unplayable like that for me jesus dude just calm down doggies okay okay everything's all right oh man now i would love to test this a little bit longer here but i think we've seen the point already okay i'm just gonna buy a predator missile right here and blow it up right here with in this van and uh here we go okay look at the explosion it did drop from 60 a little bit there but it's still fine it's a perfectly playable experience if you want to get into some call of duty modern warfare 3 hit me up as well because we could play some survival uh together it's pretty fun you know i've actually played like two hours this week of just survival here so yeah I just love this game. It's so satisfying, this game mode. Jesus, man. All right, so we got 123 FPS average, 1% lows of 62. 
pretty impressive stuff. I was expecting lower frames coming from the 2600 XT here in COD Modern Warfare 3, but I think this game could even be played at high settings at 720p or even on low settings at 1080p if he wanted to. Amazing results overall. Huh. Alright guys, so uh, this is Paladins, for those of you that don't know it, it's basically Overwatch but free. <laughs> I don't know actually, I, I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> basically, many people still play this game here in 2020 and it's still supported by the 2600 XT, so that's a good thing. These textures are beautiful, aren't they? And it's actually only utilizing 123 megabytes of VRAM, so that's actually impressive. Okay, let's go over the settings. Uh, as I told you, I set everything to the lowest right here, as you can see. And uh, we're running it at 720p with 100% resolution scale. Hey, how you doing? What? Me? I'm fine, thank you. Uh, it's very hot in here, though. Let me just play the game, please. Oh god, look at the textures. It has no textures, basically. Oh my god. Let's move out. This is Team Deathmatch, by the way, and we should be able to do something here. Um, okay. Alright, what the hell? Are these bots, guys? I think those are sentries, so that's like Torbjorn or something. Torbjorn? Tor... Yeah, I don't know how to say his name. Sorry. <laughs> kind of easy, this game. I think it's just because those are bots. Very, very likely. Our 1% lows are bad right now, guys. Look at that. I didn't really see any stutters, but uh, the 1% lows... I think it's just the frame time graph. It's always spiky for some reason in every game. Okay. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Just get away from me. Thank you very much. No, no, no. Oh, that's Pudge. Okay. All right. I didn't know that was Pudge. Uh Come on! Unfortunately, I can't really play uh, Overwatch with this card, so that's a bummer a little bit, but you got Paladins, you know? Alright, we got this. To no one's surprise, I guess. <laughs> I am impressed. I didn't really know what to expect, but it seems like this game just runs perfectly well in low-end and older hardware. And finally, my friends, we've come to the last game of today, which is Rocket League, which actually opens in a 2007 GPU, so that's amazing. Uh, let's go over the settings right now. 720p, native 720p by the way, because the render quality is actually set to high quality. If it was set to like quality performance or high performance, it, it would mean that our resolution would be lower than 720p and I don't know by how much because it doesn't tell you. Anyways, everything else is turned off and at the like maximum performance setting, so uh, basically it's on the lowest settings, okay? And let's just ruin the game of our future fellow teammates, shall we? <laughs> I absolutely suck, like completely, I'm a zero in this game, okay? I just don't know how to play it, I don't even play good with the controller, I don't know most of the controls in this one, I think it's, uh, yeah, okay, and this is boost. Okay, all right, there's not many controls actually, so we should be fine in terms of that. So, oh my god, oh my god, come on, come on, oh, oh, please don't do that to me. I'm already bad enough without you hitting me. So it seems like we can't really reach 60 FPS at 720p, and I was honestly expecting it to reach 60 at 720p resolution, because this isn't really a hard game to run, to run at all. God damn it, I, I don't even, come on, no, don't. Got over here, ball. Okay, I just... I told you I suck at this, guys. <laughs> oh, come on. Oh, man. I don't even think I touched the ball in this game yet. Anyways, guys, our 1% lows are at 27 right now, which is kind of a bit too bad. But I'm not really worried about that because there's not really much stutter. I can't really feel these stutters at least. It feels smooth to me. Why am I doing this? I'm just pushing it back. Come on. No. I bet I'm the worst Rocket League player that you've ever seen, guys. Um, okay. Nice. Let's go. No. Come on. Come on. I don't have boosts. No, man. Oh, they're coming here. I am not gonna allow you to... Yeah, that was all me, right? <laughs> Am I gonna do it? Oh, come on! I made it! Yes! I made it, guys! <laughs> Re Lip Persigo, look at that! Look at that beauty! Oh, yes! So slowly, but surely. 
We made it, guys. Anyways, uh, definitely very playable, guys. I enjoyed the experience here. 1% loss are at 29, but I didn't really see it drop that much. And it's kind of the same story for the other games that we've tested so far. So, guys, it's finally time for the conclusion of this video. And I know, I know, many of you wanted me to test Fortnite. And many of you wanted me to test, like, PUBG and COD Warzone and stuff like that. But this GPU just isn't capable of running those games. Unfortunately, Unfortunately, with these older cards, you're stuck with older games, except for Valorant. Valorant was pretty much the only 2020 game that we ran here today, but it actually ran pretty well, which is good. Better than CSGO as well. But anyways, guys, do I recommend this GPU? I'm not even sure why I'm asking this question, because it's obviously not a good GPU in the year 2020. But if you can buy it for like one euro or something like that, I still wouldn't buy it. <laughs> Unless you want to build a PC for like retro gaming, but yeah, 2007 wasn't really retro gaming. Oh, Crisis is actually released in 2007. But I will be making another full playlist only testing Crisis when Crisis Remastered comes out this year. So keep tuned in for that. I will test a lot of GPUs with all of the Crisis games. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to give it a like if you did and subscribe if you haven't already. I will hopefully see you in the next one. And as always, guys, I love you all. Bye-bye. Oh, by the way, I really wanted to bring this to the channel. This is a GTX 480, but unfortunately, it's broken, so I'll have to buy another one. So, yeah. I've seen the chat for the 480, guys. Bye-bye.